I'm just feel so like irrelevant and I'm let's oh this is like my back's like seizing up so I'm so apprehensive okay wow I feel like I've really forgotten how to film videos like this I'm literally filming this nine months pregnant so this is going up after I've given birth but I wanted to film this before I don't know I feel like I've lost no I haven't lost my identity but I just feel like I've lost I don't know let's get into it let's do it let's talk about this first I've got a studio backdrop because you will be very aware that throughout my pregnancy we were renovating our house and I had nowhere to film this content. This video is like one of the most special videos to me and this video I've been waiting to film for so long to be able to share with you something which is so close to my heart, something I've worked so hard for. So I've hired a studio in Brighton, that's so bougie, but that's not me. I'm not this bougie princess, but I've hired a studio in Brighton for two hours to come here while everyone's painting the house and I can, I can share with you something so ridiculous, I can't even get my words out. So ridiculously exciting. And yeah, I'm just praying you guys love this as much as I do. Okay, so let's, Let's just quickly. I haven't got much makeup on. I've got just my base. So I've got a CC cream, my eyebrows, some lip balm and concealer. Right. So that will lead me on to explaining to you my new collection and my new product launching for my brand, which is the Honey Store. So a lot of you might be new here. A lot of you might be old here. A lot of you might just have joined me like a week ago. That means you'd be new, whatever. A lot of you might not even have subscribed to me. So hi, thank you subscribe if you want probably don't after that intro but i have my own brand which is called the honey store and it's been a very slow long amazing process but i feel like we're on the way to picking up the momentum so i have eyelashes which are cruelty free i also have lip kits i have hun bun baby gal and pinky promise lip kits i will share with you them in a minute and i have new launches today so my brand is vegan and cruelty free makeup but there's lots of different things in the pipeline coming, so make sure you stay tuned. We've got two new launches today, two new launches. Let's, oh, this is like, my back's like seizing up, so I'm so apprehensive. Because you know when you've worked on something for so long and you love it so much, you just want everyone else to love your baby, but then you're like, what if they don't love it? Okay, first product. Oh, should I go with this one? Or should I go with the other one? Oh, I don't know. Okay, come on, Jen. You guys are like, what is that? Okay, so this is my Honey Store All In Hun Volume 1 palette. This isn't just an eyeshadow palette. This is the All In Hun for my Huns. Okay, so you've got the sleeve here. I'll show you it without it being so reflective, but. And on the back it says, from one honey to another, thank you for supporting my dreams. Love you unconditionally, angels. Your Imogen. Okay, I'm really hyping it up now and I'm feeling like no one's gonna... Okay. Do you like that? I love that. Okay, ready? Go. Oh, oh my God, I'm so excited to share this with you. So you've got a massive mirror there. Then you have my fingerprint in that one right now. So actually when I'm filming this, I only actually have two palettes to play with because I only have the samples. I don't have any in stock yet. But obviously when this video goes live, all the stock will be live on the website, which is thehoneystore.com by the way. If anyone wants to check it out, honestly, please just, yeah. I literally like <laughs> hate having to be like that, but I will link everything in the description if you want to go and check out my brand. If you just want to check it out and let me know. So we've redesigned the website and just, yeah, okay. So you have 14 eyeshadows and I just think they're stunning. Then you have three blushes, one with pigment in it and two, one with a little bit of shimmer in it, and then two mattes. You have three highlights here, they're just so buttery and soft. Bear with me because these contour palettes and these blushes, you can use them in your crease. You can use these big shades as your crease color, as a setting color, you can use it in, as a transition shade, whatever you want. Honestly, you can use these highlights on your brow bone, you can use them as a shade, as a, an eyeshadow. You can use them however you want. So. They are honestly my favorite colors. I've started with my neutral palette, which is, this is my palette, which will go everywhere with me. It, it has been going everywhere with me. You guys have been asking me like, what's that on your blush? Like, da, da, da. And I'm like, that's my palette. So this is All In Hun volume one. So there is gonna be different volumes, but I am not the makeup revolutions. I'm not the big brands and you know, I'm not Morphe. So for me, it's, I, I wish I could bring out like volume two, volume three straight away. 
with different shades and different color tones. But unfortunately, there's, it's a lot to be able to bring out so many products because of the small quantities I have to get, etc. So I will do swatches of the first top seven. So I will show you them now. They are just so, so stunning. Again, I've just gone with different things where the quads of each section, so there's a four here, there's a four here, and then you can make a four here. They all go together, but these are just my go-to eyeshadow sh shades. You know, for someone who's not amazing at makeup, this is like the dream. For someone who's amazing at makeup, you could create so many amazing looks with this. So we haven't gone for really bright bits of color yet because we're just really trying to bring in the transition shades, bring in those really neutral, gorgeous tones, and then hopefully we'll build up to different palettes. But I'm honestly obsessed with the amazing shimmers in these palettes. They're just so stunning. And yeah, and then we move on to the next seven. We've got some gorgeous shades in here. I want to just create shadows that I use on a daily basis. You know, we've got the shimmers, we've got the mattes, we've got the gorgeous yellow tones, we've got amazing orangey tones, the red undertones, we've got the shimmers which are just absolutely perfect. So I'm really hoping that you can see this, I'm really hoping that I'm doing it justice, but that mirror is getting heavy on my hand, let me tell you. So we moved the blushes, we've got three blushes here, we've got two mattes, and we've got one with a little bit of shimmer in it which I just think is gorgeous. Again, I mix all three together. I absolutely love the highlights and these highlights are so buttery. Like I really hope that they're doing it justice on my little camera, my little Sony camera. I really hope it's working. But yeah, these are just absolutely stunning. And then again, we move over to the crease colors or the big transition shades or the contour shades, which I use for contour. So the three different shades for contour and then there's a lighter color to set under the under eyes. It's a really brightening white. I'm pretty sure you can't really see it because it's so, so light. But we love that. We hope you guys are still watching because I'm like panicking. I feel like I'm shaking. Baby girl, you've got mummy, haven't you? Have you got mummy? Okay. I'll show you the next product. We have Hun Bun and Baby Girl. And I don't have Pinky Promise with me yet. Brownie nude. And then we have more of a pinky nude. They were, those are my go-to nudes. And I will show you them with the palette. I wanted to bring out something for other people that maybe don't want a nude. Maybe want a little bit of a pop of colour. And I wanted to make my favourite ever red. This is my red lip kit called Queen Bee. This is a beautiful, corally, gorgeous red. I didn't want to make a red that made you wash you out because so many reds on my lips literally make me look so pale. They don't go with so many different eyeshadow palettes. I just feel like I wanted to make something which gave me my natural color on my skin, but also made me pop. So we have Queen Bee. So Queen Bee's here again. It says, my honeys, my best friends, my whole universe, I love you. It's all on the back there, the honey store. So you obviously have the lip liner and the lipstick, again, all with Queen Bee on the bottom. So I will show you the lip liner and the lip liner is just absolutely stunning. Like I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's just the most perfect red for me. I genuinely love it. I feel like it matches so many different skin tones. They're not super matte, they're like a demi matte. They dry matte, but they don't dry your lips out. The formula is just incredible and I'm absolutely obsessed. And the red matches perfectly and they just combine amazingly. So the all in hun, all over face palette is actually retailing. Bear with me, I know that that's on the topper end of things, I understand that, however, making vegan and cruelty free makeup, but also making it as a one man band, this is just me and my husband. This brand is literally just me. I need to try and get some other people involved to help me expand the business because working, you know, being nine months pregnant and trying to do this and just trying to build a brand is hard anyway. But yes, so basically I looked at some other brands of what they were selling and this is a massive palette. You get blush, contour, highlight and 14 eyeshadows. And again, I can't make, you know, I'm just being honest, I can't make a palette for 10 pounds and be able to buy that many quantities because I'm on my own. So please just understand I've made it for as cheap as I physically can and I hope you guys absolutely love it. So let's get in with using my All In Hun and my Queen Bee. Okay, so I've zoomed you in. I really can't wait for you guys to actually try this palette and show me like what you do because you guys are so much more talented than me. But let's go. So this is my palette that I've been using and it's so messed up. I'm so sorry. You should see the other palette that I was using, the first ever sample. Like that is absolutely destroyed. So I'm gonna take this shade first off. I'm gonna take this one in my crease. I haven't actually named the shades and there is a reason for that. I mean, this is just one little bit of pigment and it just goes such a long way and they blend so nicely. The makeup artist that was on the shoot with me yesterday who did the makeup for the shoot because I was like, I can't trust myself. She was like, they all blend together so seamlessly. They're so creamy and soft and just, yeah, there's no fallout. They're amazing. I really hope that you guys 
agree and I hope you guys love them but there is no shade names at the moment because I wanted to wait till baby girl was here to announce her name and all different things like that and also I wanted you guys to get involved so I wanted to get your guys suggestions of what you think I should name the shades so I am going to do like a little poll on my Instagram and try and really get you guys involved because you guys are my huns <laughs> this palette is literally all in hun so I wanted to make sure that you guys could come up with some suggestions so that if the names go in the palette then you'll feel like I'm in there you know besties it's one of those nerve-wracking things as well it's like I want to send this out to other influencers but you know when you're just like I just feel so like irrelevant and I'm like will other influencers actually want to try this and you just worry don't you I know like, like I don't have loads of friends in the industry because I'm just kind of a lone wolf and like with my husband you know and that's I'm happy with that I've got my friends and whatever and everyone in the industry is amazing but you know when you're just like I don't know I don't know I want to send it out to people but I don't feel like I have enough confidence like everyone was like oh send it out to people and you know when you're like what if they don't like it like what if I don't know I'm gonna take this shade over here to deepen that crease. I literally don't know what I'm doing with makeup anymore. You know when you're like, I used to do makeup videos all the time, and now I feel like no one is gonna watch my makeup videos. Like, honestly, in my head right now, all that's going through my head is, calm down, show the palette, but also, Imogen, stop worrying about what people are thinking. But also, there's like this devil on my shoulder going, no one's watching this, everyone's already clicked off, everyone hates makeup now. You're irrelevant. Everyone liked makeup before when you used to do makeup videos, but you've lost that audience on your channel now. Stop talking, Imogen. Yeah, that's 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 anxiety. That's actually anxiety. Like the thoughts in my head right now are like two polar opposite people going, "Calm down, Imogen. No one wants to watch you. You've lost all that makeup audience." That's how. That's just. That's just anxiety. I'm just gonna deepen this a little bit further and take this shade here. It's gonna be really nice for me to share this with baby girl as she gets older, because I feel like she was in my tummy, she was in my womb when I was filming this video and sharing it with you guys. I'm actually obsessed with these shadows. Like, I'm absolutely obsessed. I can't believe this is actually my palette. Like, I'm actually so excited. And for people who might not love makeup, stay tuned for the honey store. Stay tuned, angels. I'm gonna take this darker contour shade down here. Guys, honestly, I just wanna say thank you for being so supportive of everything lately. Like, you guys honestly are just the most amazing people in the world and I'm so grateful to have you. So I'm gonna take this shadow here. I literally have forgotten how to do makeup. This is a shambles. If you want to watch someone do makeup, I wouldn't be here, Hans. I would not be here. I'm just gonna take this black. That's what I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of the black. I'm just gonna pop it there just to give me a little bit more definition on the eyes. I'm also gonna use my lashes today, because why not? I'm using my Princess Pie lashes, so we should just be covered and coated in the honey store, you know. Take this white color here. I'm not gonna do a cut crease or anything, because let's be honest, who am I? Imogen, not a makeup artist. It's just so easy, this palette, it's so easy. If I can use it, anyone can use it. Don't know if I'm exactly the right zoomed in amount now, but let's just go with it. Okay, while I wait for my mascara to dry, I'm just gonna take this shadow over here, and I'm gonna apparently have some lovely acid reflux. Absolutely sorry about that one, Hans. That's absolutely fine. And then I'm gonna take it underneath on this side. Just buff that out. I've already got a little bit of black under there because I put the tiniest amount of black there. It's coming together and we're loving it, hopefully. So with the red lip, I'm not gonna go too heavy with the blush. No one cares, Imogen. Okay. It's just you get to that point, right, where, uh, like obviously by this point I will have given birth when you're seeing this video and I'm like I don't know does anyone even would anyone care there's loads of people out there <laughs> I love how I've come to a studio and there's literally so many people around there's so much noise outside don't know you can probably hear everything there's building works it's absolutely fine it's all going off okay I'm gonna take this shade first off to just give me a little bit of a contour I honestly love this contour it's such a nice subtle light especially for my skin tone. Like, I think this color is so perfect for even lighter skin tones. I think it's beautiful, but also as a crease transition shade, it's stunning. I mean, I have to say this, don't I? I should take a tiny bit of the other one as well, just to give me, and this one's definitely a lot darker. This one's just gonna give me more of a color now and more definition to those cheekbones, which I don't have anymore because I'm currently nine months pregnant feeling it let me tell you i never know which highlight to use because i love them all i've got some hair in that one that's wonderful excellent just keeping it real keeping it real 
I think I'm gonna go into, oh, I'll go into this one. I'll go into this one, I love them all. Are you ready? I'm so excited. Oh, oh my goodness. It's so buttery and so stunning and just talk to me. So we have three, so this one's got more goldy, white reflex going through it. It's kind of everything in this one. Then we have a really gold and then we have a more of a whitey gold. So yeah. Oh, I'm obsessed. I've got some hair on my nose, it's wonderful. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. And I've not even wet the brush. I've not even made the brush wet. And I'm just gonna take this super light pink neutral lovely blush over here, just to give myself a little bit of a pop before I put the red lip on. I don't want too much blush, but I will add blush to show you it with a neutral lip. I actually feel like it's a nice thing to be able to show you guys that I'm not always the most confident and maybe I've lost a bit of myself amongst things. And I also feel like it's really important that I show you sometimes my anxiety and what goes through my head because hopefully it makes you guys feel less alone and less because honestly, when you're having like something with anxiety, no matter how big or small it is, I feel like people think people on YouTube just are bionic or have this perfect life and it's amazing. And obviously I'm very lucky, I have an amazing life, but that doesn't affect anxiety. Anxiety can literally, it's, it's not, you know, it can choose anyone. Anxiety can go to anyone. So I feel like it's so important that we share these ups and downs and you know, share the, the negative thoughts that are going through my head because I know you guys are like to stop putting yourself down but that's part of anxiety and that's normal and I feel like so many of you especially just anyone we all feel like we're so alone in this when we're not we're really not like there's everyone on some level suffers with some level of anxiety okay then we're just going to set the under eyes this is just a brightening under eye shadow this isn't to set fully your face this is to brighten so I've already put powder on my face but this is just going to brighten and really really snatch Honestly, it makes such a difference, this shade. It's so brightening. I'm obsessed and watch, I'm just gonna snatch that contour there. Snatch it. Let's take Queen B, it's so. Take Queen A. Ah, oh, they're so creamy. So creamy, I'm obsessed. These lip liners are so creamy, you can actually use them all over your lips. I'm just gonna take the lipstick now. This has definitely got more of a demi matte, gorgeous, semi kind of, I love it so much because I didn't like really matte lip. Matte lips are really dry my lips out, like super matte. I mean, obviously my whole face and body is swollen. The, the water goes into every part of your face. I just feel like this red makes your teeth look so bright and it just looks so nice with this gorgeous glam. I really, really hope you like this. Honestly, I can't wait to see it on all of you guys because I just feel like so many of you are just gonna absolutely love it. I really hope you do because it's just got this gorgeousness to it. Like it's not really dark red, it's not really light red, it's got this corally undertone and it's perfect for holiday, perfect for tan skin, perfect for pale skin, perfect for skin, perfect for everyone. This one, this one's the lighter one of the two. This one's a bit more dark, we'll go with this one. Pigments are, oh my goodness, they are way too much. They are way too much, they're amazing. I'm just gonna take this over here on my finger, sort of blend this out. Then I'm gonna take this super gold shade over here. Ooh. Yes. They're just so buildable. You can literally build over the top of these shadows. Oh, this gold, stop. So I've just had a little transition from day to night. I've got this gorgeous gold on my eyes now and it still matches the red. If you want to go with that really super bronzy glam, then this is definitely the one for you. Beautiful angels. I've put some extensions in. I feel like an absolute glowing goddess. I'm absolutely obsessed with this makeup look. I feel like it looks so nice, especially with my hair all like, Hollywood waves, you know, silky, smooth, glam. I'm fully, fully obsessed. Let's change up the eyes and let's change up the lip and let's just love our life. Okay, to change up the eyes, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of the blushes into my eyes because I feel like we should be going with a lovely peachy shade. So I'm gonna go with this one in the middle here. Over the top up here, they're so pigmented. Can you see that pink? Oh my God, they're so pigmented. I'm like absolutely obsessed. I love that you can use the blushes all over your face. And then I'm just gonna take this shade underneath here as well. Really, really blend that out and just really smoke it out. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed with this palette. I really, got, I really hope you love it. This video has taken me like six hours to film because obviously I had a couple of instances where I just had to go, take a little breather, have a drink of water and make myself feel better.
And we're really going for it today. We're gonna to go with this shade over here. Now bear with me, because obviously I've already got pigment on my eyes, so we're just gonna blend it over the top of the gold. This is just me showing you how easy it is to transition all of the colors. So I'm just gonna take this. I'm sorry, I'm just, oh my. I'm taking this with my finger and just buffing this all over. Oh, I'm obsessed. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I'm gonna take this deep shade up here and I'm just gonna blend that to the outer part of my eye. Angels, this is like the quickest and easiest little transition. Oh my God, we've literally changed our eye makeup in a second. Love it. We're gonna now really build that blush. I'm gonna take these two together and really go in. Let's just absolutely smash that out of the blusher. Oh, the blush. Put some on my nose. Let's take it up here. I love blush. I am all for blush. I'll show you this makeup look with baby girl on my lips and hun bun. One of the blushes has got so much pigment in that it adds just even more. Oh, I love it. It's so fun and cute. Okay, let's put baby gal on first. I'm gonna take my baby gal lip kit here. My hands. Get some baby gal on the lips. Lovely. Here we go. Baby gal here. Oh wow. Yes, yes. Absolutely, yes. This makeup look is killer. I've literally just changed it up by adding a bit more blush and adding some pink onto the eyes. I just feel like it's fun, it's cutesy. Let me know what you think. I love it, I love it, I love it. So easy as well, so, so easy. Then I'm just gonna take Hun Bun, and this is gorgeous as well. Hun Bun's definitely a darker nude. That's just the lip liner on its own. Stunning, obsessed. Just before we finish, I just wanna show you a little bit more of this highlight, so I'm gonna go to this one now. I mean, I have got a lot of highlight on my face, haven't I? So maybe I could put a little bit on my collar here. Ah, oh, stop it actually stop look at that oh my god i'm like actually obsessed i'm like fully obsessed look at that sorry i'm gonna leave everyone alone now i feel like i've bored everyone for so long so however long this video is i'm really sorry but thank you guys for staying with me thank you for going through this little anxiety of makeup and journey and thank you for hopefully liking my products i really hope you like them i will link them in the description you can go and check out the honey store even if you just go and give me some feedback but let me know what you think it's gonna be me, Spencer, and my dad, and baby girl packaging all of your orders. Obviously, baby girl can't help. She will when she's older. But I love you guys so much. Until next time, I'm gonna love you and I'm gonna leave you. Thank you for being so supportive of me. And yeah, I really hope you like these products as much as I do because I'm fully obsessed with them. And yes, I'm not gonna cry. I didn't cry. Wow. You're keeping me strong, baby girl. You've got me strong. Crying is no weakness anyway. Okay, I love you. Bye.